Hey there, Leo. I hope you guys are wonderful. Thank you for your patience in regard to me coming back to my channel. I've been pretty sick and dealing with some stuff in life, and it is what it is. But, you know, I'm here now, and I would love to go ahead and get into your reading for um, July of 2020. <clears throat> so... Let's do it. I'm also doing a little bit of a different thing here, Leo. What I'm doing is we're going to do a general reading. I'll get rid of this. Then we'll do a, a couples reading and then one for the singles. So it can be it can be all over the place if you if you feel that something is resonating here for you and apply it to a relationship situation or a single situation. Totally fine. You know your life situation better than I do. These are general readings for thousands of people. So they pick up on the energies that are present, but they're not going to be a definitive thing for you. Sometimes they are, but you know, <clears throat> just depends on what we're picking up here. So moving forward here, Leo, <clears throat> It sounds like you might have a connection either with an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy, Gemini being presented here, Libra presented, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius presented. Either way, there's some aspect here um, of needing to get to the bottom of things, needing to have clarity within a situation. Some of you, and this is not for everybody, but some of you might be dealing with legal situations in regard to a love relationship that may have gone sour. Um, this is the general aspect. I want to make this as general as possible, but for some of you, that might be something that is going into your situation. So <clears throat> um, it's... Yeah. Okay, no. Uh, so they want to tell me about that then right now. Hang on. So if somebody here is dealing with like a legal separation, you will get through it. You will get through it with communication and you may get through it with trying to balance out your energy with your previous partner or your ex. <clears throat> But there is change in that regard. Okay, enough of that. So moving forward here, um, with justice and lovers, this is a necessity to um, find balance in a situation. Um, you know, and it's kind of interesting too, just because the lovers and the justice card, this is about love. It is about union. It's about soulmate energy, physical attraction, um, deep, intense passion for somebody or something. <clears throat> and it could just be a committed relationship, a marriage as well. That might be, you know, being in jeopardy here. But either way, there's a necessity to find out communication. There's a necessity to bring forth truth and honesty within something here. We have the five of cups at the center of the reading, <clears throat> Which is basically telling me that there is sorrow and grief here in regard to a direction that may have come about in your relationship or in your situation. Okay, this can play out in relationships, this can be financial. There's so many aspects here. What I'm feeling is that there's a necessity to come at a situation with honesty and clarity so that you can have a change in movement towards a new direction. Either way, it feels like there's going to be a new direction here, okay? <clears throat> Something with new passion, new change, determined to get out of an old sense of being or feeling like you may have been trapped in a box. Um, the Page of Wands is about new direction. It is about determination. It's, it's taking risks where you maybe haven't explored before, but now it's time to move forward, you know. Um, it can also be somebody that can be very dramatic in a relationship situation, um, which it's, it's... Drama is not good, okay? Drama, eh. To a degree, it can be fun and playful, but like when it's actually, you know, um, <clears throat> making negative imprints upon your relationship, that's not something that you can uphold for a long period of time, okay? Especially in a relation, like a marriage. Uh, if you've had a very dramatic experience in your relationship, it's just too much for you at this point, Leo. And that's saying a lot. You guys are pretty fucking dramatic and I love it. <laughs> Either way, there is some grief here and sadness in looking at the situation. Um, moving forward, though, you have the opportunity to balance things out. I feel like this might be a relationship situation. I don't want to get too heavily invested in it, though. It's talking about a lot of um, change, reality, facts, and um, 
just being very honest with the process. With the Temperance card, you have a card of balance and trying to bring harmony to a situation, um, rearranging situations to create a better thing. It's like cobbling pieces of yourself together to help a situation out. But in a relationship that's kind of faltering, falling, it's not just about you trying to make it better. It's about both parties trying to change a situation to the better for the better. So you can have a complimentary experience with each other. At this point, it feels like that might be off right now. So I'm going to go ahead and get some clarifiers here <clears throat> for your reading, Leo. Please show me the connection between the Justice card and the Lovers for Leo. Show me the connection between the Justice card and Lovers. Okay, hang on. This card's about to fall out. There you go. It's the moon, Piscean energy, Cancerian energy, page of wands coming out right there. Got them right here too. So mental confusion, um, sometimes dishonesty, sometimes people not being upfront with you, bringing things in under the dark, under the... <laughs> The shadow of darkness, there's not a lot being said. You may be coming to um, terms with that and finding out more about potential um, another person. You could be finding out more about the, per the what your party, your partner needs in a relationship. You may be finding out about information that may have been held withheld from you. Um, this is kind of like a sleuth energy getting to the bottom of everything, but also a very collected energy it's not very emotional at all it's like okay let's get to the bottom of this i don't want confusion here i want truth and honesty <clears throat> show me the page of wands and the five of cups <coughs> for leo the tower leo so with the tower comes abrupt changes. Again, the big thread here, and I am going to do singles and couples or couples and singles. But what I'm feeling here, you guys, is an abrupt change to a situation. Either this is you bringing it down or your partner bringing it down. You may have legal issues in this situation, whomever this particular aspect of this reading is for. <clears throat> um, yeah. There's a lot of change happening and redirecting of things. Probably going to be sad for a little while, but it's changing for the better, okay? Show me the Ace of Wands and Temperance here for Leo, please. Yeah, you're cutting things out. Judgment at the bottom of the deck. So if this is a relationship situation, you're getting very clear in what you want and what you will and will not deal with. Um, for some of you, this is totally off the plate at this point. You're not even involved in this situation. So I would say... Move forward with the best of your capability. Try not to be completely immersed in sadness um, and release, you know, what you cannot control, you know. And also, Leo, I want to say here, too, even if you're not like getting divorced or there's not lawyers or, you know, legal stuff in your situation, you literally may be dealing with a partner who can be a bit rigid. They can be cold. They can be avoidant of emotions and love and affection. And that's fucking hard for you guys. That can be really hard for you guys because you are so loving. You're giving. You are attentive. You want to make your partner feel good. Sorry, there's like giant trucks going back and forth today. I don't know what the hell's going on. <clears throat> if you have a partner that is not matching you and blending well with you, you know, there's a reason to release it. It's not going to be something for you in the long run. You know, be careful about how um, you stay in unhappy situations just because it's a person next to you or because there's a lot of good qualities about them, but they also don't meet me on this, this, and this level. But I'm still going to keep trying. Like, be careful about that. Like, sometimes you have to know when to step away from a situation, okay? Show me some advice here for Leo, please. <clears throat> oh my God, I'm sorry. You have the clover. It's about luck. It's about change. Your luck changing for the better. Things in life that you're dealing with changing for the better, Leo. So have faith. Whatever the situation is can change. Um... Yeah, 
I, I, I don't know. This is a very broad thing and I don't want to like focus too much on just love, but it feels here like somebody is getting over something particularly painful, but there's also positivity here as well for you. So I'm going to go ahead and get into the couples reading. <clears throat> Show me energy for the Leo couples, please. Leo couples. The Queen of Wands, your energy coming up, Leo. Show me more for the Leo couples. Three of Swords coming out in reverse. Magician. Nine of Cups. Two of Swords, Six of Swords, <clears throat> Justice at the bottom of the deck. So might be dealing with a Libra. And for those of you who are like, what the fuck is she talking about? Like that first reading had nothing to do with anything I'm dealing with. It might not be your situation. I'm actually feeling with the couples reading that there might be a continuation from the initial reading that I just gave. So the general energy. So <clears throat> here... Leo, you have the Queen of Wands, which is an energy in your own, um, you know, fire energy. Could be dealing with a fire sign. Don't have to be Aries, Libra. I'm sorry, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, but with the Queen of Wands, this is about direction. It's about choosing your path and feeling really positive about things. Um, you know, with the Queen of Wands, you're basically feeling more attractive in your life. You're feeling fun, energetic, you're vital. There's some aspect of like new life spark with you at this point, Leo. <clears throat> and also it indicates somebody who is independent as well. So sometimes in relationships when we split, what does that make us? Independent. We are an independent entity. Um, and it feels here like there's forward movement um, with this energy, but more so than anything, a determination and will to get out of something that hasn't been for you or something that's just been really negative in regard to you. It's It had kept your happiness from happening. That's what I'm feeling here, Leo. <clears throat> I'm sorry. With, um, with the Nine of Cups in reverse, it's like coming from a place of like an emotional stagnancy. And again, for those of you who had dealt with somebody who was very cold or just non-emotional, like it feels like that may have also taken a toll on the way that your experience in that relationship turned out. With the Three of Swords here in reverse, it indicates that you're coming out of a really negative place in your relationship or your experience here. You're letting go of heartache and the pain that you may have been dealing with with a partner and moving forward towards new beginnings. Um, you know, with the Two of Swords here, it's a, basically an energy where there is some separation, there is um, distance between you and a person, communication may come to a halt, um, <clears throat> or there may be a lack of communication moving forward here. You know, I know in the original general energy, I said that some of you may be able to bring balance to a situation with that partner and end on good terms. But for the now, if this is resonating with this reading, um, it's probably good to to keep yourself separate and stop communication at this point. Moving forward with the magician, though, you have an energy that is basically talking about brand new beginnings. It's about um, change, but also the change that happens when we experience and go through some ups and downs. You know, it's a very... Um, it's a very beautiful card in regard to moving things forward. It's about manifestation and creation here. But also, um, it's about believing yourself, believing in yourself. With the Queen of Wands upright here, I feel like there's a new sense of self, Leo. I feel like there's a new meaning to your life, a new zest, a new look, an outlook on life that feels new to you. And it feels like you need to run with it. With a magician here, I love that just because it's creating something new for itself. It's like a newfound human being. With the Six of Swords, we're getting away from problems that have kind of plagued us, situations that have been unending, exhausting situations. Um, 
you know, problems that deal with your mind and your emotions, like love and getting out of problematic relationships. It's that kind of energy, you know, where you do that, you have the opportunity to manifest more in your life, to change things, to be the judge of your own situation. I feel like some of you are coming out or about to come out of relationships, um, Leo couples. And, you know, I know that doesn't sound good. Um, and if it's not your situation, you're totally happy with your partner, Leo. This isn't your reading. This is for somebody who's coming out or has just recently come out of a relationship that has been very painful, lack of communication, lack of emotion, that type of energy here. <clears throat> but you're not falling down. You're still on your feet. You're still moving forward and you have what it takes to make more out of your life and experience. Let's go ahead and get some clarifiers on this. Okay, I will pull that. <clears throat> page of Wands is here. And that was in the other reading too. The Page of Wands is about that new direction, you know, that determination that I'm talking about with this Queen of Wands. It's passion. It's feeling like you have a new lease on life. I love that. Like the energy that I'm picking up in this reading is feeling like a new lease on life. You may be saddened by something. You may not be able to connect or communicate with somebody. But there's like a vibrant energy here that feels like, okay, well, <clears throat> que sera, you know, what is, is like, I can't wait for something to change like this. I have to make the moves in my own experience. And I like that direction. I like that passion and drive. It's a good thing. The page of wands too also is sometimes often in reverse. It can talk about a course correction. But sometimes it just talks about correcting your course, changing. You may have been going this way and now it's time to go this way. You know, it can be quick. Show me the three of swords in reverse with the two of swords upright. <clears throat> the eight of swords. So again, there's like some hanging on to the mental aspect of this, you know, worrying, feeling bad, um, not trusting yourself or your actions, not trusting the thoughts that you're having, maybe running with um, a lot of other thoughts in your mind about things like when the Eight of Swords comes up, it basically says that we are, our minds are not quite as overstimulated as the Nine of Swords, but our minds are having a difficult time releasing something. It's like we're constantly in thought about something, worrying about things, creating mountains out of molehills in our own mind. It's like you have the structure of an idea or something that's happened, but through <clears throat> lack of communication, through heartache, sometimes your, your imagination can get the best of you in a lot of ways. And I encourage you in regard to the emotional aspect here, Leo couples or whomever this is for, Try to be as level-headed and as clear as possible, okay? You don't want to create storylines in your head. You don't want to worry about things with, with, without necessity. Like, just allow yourself to be and ride with the situation. If anything, harness your energy towards your own development, okay? Do things that are going to be um, better for you, you know? Do things that are going to bring happiness to your life. It's This is the Queen of Wands is all about con being connected to your own spirituality. Um, it can talk about being involved in the occult or mysticism. It can also talk about, you know, learning tarot. Um, it's about following your true passions, Leo. Um, and there's a fair amount of kindness and warmth about this card as well. So if you haven't received that in your previous relationship or your current relationship, that may be where you need to shine from and it may be what you need to see because it feels like somebody here has been very cold and very detached in a lot of ways. And I don't think that that's healthy for you. Um, I feel that that's something that might dampen your your shine, Leo. So <clears throat> be careful about that. Also to here with the Justice card as well. Um, <coughs> I'm sorry. <clears throat> like I said earlier, there's a necessity for love and connection and ease and feeling good and feeling yummy and scrummy with your partner. This particular type of partner, the Justice card or Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, they can be detached. They can be cold and it doesn't foster 
a lot of good things to happen for you in that relationship. That connection becomes stagnant because it's not free. It's not giving. It's restricted. This is a very restricted card in relationships. This talks about a relationship full of a lot of rules, a lot of restrictions, a lot of things that you have to consider before moving forward, you know. It can talk about fairness and equality, but it can also talk about being in a relationship that is difficult. There are some difficulties within that energy, you know. And it also tells you to not settle for less than you deserve. You know, intellectual relationships are one thing, but when the... <clears throat> I feel like the, yeah, the, um, the lovers was here in the initial reading with that lovers card. It's, it's a card where you have emotion and you have, yeah, hi Marcel, you have intellectual and emotional fulfillment with that, um, just, uh, the, um, lovers card with the justice card. It's, it's difficult because it, it needs more emotion. It's very intellectual. It's very cold, you know. Um, it, it can also talk about here where there might be restrictions in, like I said, restrictions in your love, but also where maybe one partner compromises more than the other. That may have been a problem in the previous situation to you or the current situation, whatever it may be. Show me the magician in that. Okay, so you have the Ten of Pentacles here for the magician and the Six of Swords. Bottom of the deck, you have the Six of Pentacles. So whatever you're moving towards, Leo, um, I feel that it's better equipped for equality, for reciprocation. It's interesting here because the Ten of Pentacles, it can indicate relationships it can indicate family structures um it can indicate a lot of things in that regard you know there's there's a lot that can be had with the um ten of pentacles <coughs> i'm sorry um it's it's it, <laughs> i feel like i'm spinning i feel like i'm spinning right now it's kind of weird it can talk about family units and you know um high cupcake I'm sorry, I got thrown off there for a second. I need to collect here. It's like I need to de-stress and I haven't been really stressed right now. So I don't know if this is energy from this reading or my own life, but I feel there's a necessity to de-stress a little bit from this. Okay, de-stress, defrag, de-stress. Okay. So what is coming to me is working very hard to provide for others as well. You may have been overworking yourself in this relationship. Something may have been out of balance here, Leo, for you. <clears throat> Either way, some of you, if this is like a relationship, a long-standing relationship, you have children together, this may be a call to maintain ties, but to move in your own direction. For some of you, this is going to be a situation where the long-standing energy between you will be enough to try and move this forward to a new direction. But to do that, you must leave problems behind. And it's not just sweeping them under the rug. It's about being genuine in addressing them and allowing them to not be brought into your, pre your, your future situation with each other. It's being very, um, very intentful, very, um, the intention is to be as transparent and communicative as possible here. If you are to stay in this relationship, <clears throat> you're going to have to do some happiness, infusion of happiness here, because I'm feeling like a lack of happiness here for this situation. So I'm really sorry if that reading was confusing to you guys. Right now, I'm going to move into the singles energy. This seems like a very confusing energy right now. Um, and I'm going to let it go, okay? Okay, Leo Singles. Show me for Leo singles, please. Leo singles, single Leos. 
Ace of Wands coming through. <clears throat> Show me more for the singles. I'm not picking that up. There's four cards there. Show me Leo singles, please. If something wants to come out from that, let it. Okay. Hi, cupcake. Yeah, I know. You're beautiful. Four of swords in reverse. <clears throat> Page of cups. Hi, sweet. Show me more for Leo singles. Two of pentacles. You have the sun. <laughs> you have the magician. You have the two of swords, which just came out in the other reading. And you also have the two of cups. Bottom of the deck, nine of swords. <clears throat> so with the nine of swords being at the bottom of the deck, this is kind of indicating... Um, mental unease, unrest, overthinking about a situation for you guys, singles. Um, it feels also, too, that you have new beginnings here. You've got the potential for change, but you might have two options, you know, between people. Um, sometimes also, too, if you're not in the, in the, on the field for, for relationships, you know, looking for a relationship, this can also talk about your work situation. It can talk about bringing, um, maybe a hobby into reality as far as like a new career path. A lot of people right now especially have been dealing with um, changing directions in their in their work situations or maintaining a job, but also introducing a secondary side gig. You know, this could also be that, you know, having two um, potentials for income, having two things to work with, you know. In a love relationship, we can talk about juggling two people or having two options in a love relationship as well. <clears throat> For the Four of Swords in reverse, um, you have a situation where either you are not getting enough rest or you're agitated in a situation. You might be also, <coughs> in regard to love, you might be progress procrastinating in regard to making a decision on somebody. I feel if you do choose somebody, it's going to be someone who you feel very compatible with on a sexual level, on a level of freedom and excitement. Um, I, I need to get this cat because he's being so sweet and he's nibbling at my toes and stop that, sit in your bed, sit in your bed and shut up. So, <clears throat> Where am I? Yeah, there's an element of procrastination here between two people. And some of you um, will fix that soon because it feels like with the Page of Cups and the Sun, you have something very, very positive coming towards you, especially in regard to love. The Ace of Cups is about opening up energies. It's communication with a person. It's very lovey. It's warm. It's sweet. Marcel, lay in your bed right now. I'm mean, uh -uh, right now. Thank you. It's very sweet energy with the Page of Cups. It's a it's a card of um, <clears throat> opening up of oneself, being genuine with how they feel about you, how you feel about somebody. It's about new relationships, new love, you know, creative pursuits in that regard. Um, there's a lot of compassion and emotional fulfillment that can come with that type of connection. So it's really... A very nice feeling energy. Um, I do like it. For some of you, this is the newness. This is the change that's happening here. And I feel that that's wonderful. Um, it may cause you to stop talking to somebody, but in the end, you end up choosing what is best for you, Leo, single. Um, so let's go ahead and get some clarifiers on this because it feels like you're moving into a nice direction here. <clears throat> Choices, but direction nonetheless. Give me the Ace of Wands and the Two of Pentacles here. So you have the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands is in the other reading. Um, it's about direction. It's about new energy. It's about new beginnings, but determination. Here we have a very passionate 
beginning, but it's also feeling very passionate about somebody. You could be dealing with another fire sign. You could be dealing with whomever you're dealing with, but it's a very positive energy. It's a highly attractive energy. So whomever you're going for, Leo, probably very good looking, probably very sexy. They probably smell delicious, you know, all of that kind of stuff. If that's not who you're looking for, this might be you. So try to embody some of that stuff. <clears throat> It's a very vibrant, vital energy, very happy to be engaged in life and very happy to move forward. Passionate energy. Show me the four swords in reverse with the sun. So you have temperance here and you have this three of swords. Now, the Three of Swords here, it's interesting because it's like, are we letting go of heartache and pain or are we still experiencing it? You know, you don't want to bring old wounds into new situations. It just says that you're not healed. It, it lets you know where you need to do more work on yourself. For the Queen of Wands to be present here, it's really about self-directing. It's really about knowing your best how to put your best foot forward, but also how to resonate and feel good within that best foot. It's it's making life happen for, for you, and you're the one that creates it. Very potent, very powerful energy, <clears throat> Leo. With the sun here, I feel that whatever is going on, it's going to be alleviated. Whatever heartache or sadness that you may have gone through in the past, I think that that's something that you need to release now. Okay, you have temperance and the sun, a card of balance, a card of equilibrium, a card of making things um, fair and shoring things up. With the sun, it's the most positive card in the deck. Like, there's a lot of change happening here. But I think one thing with the sun and the temperance being major arcana cards and having the three of swords show up, it's maybe where we need to look at painful situations or situations from the heart um, that are that are kind of agonizing where we give too much power to them where we lay down our lives and you know fall apart when things like that happen this is really talking about getting up and moving forward again from where you may have been <clears throat> And also, too, in regard to choices here with the two of pentacles, this may be, you know, hurting one to, to get another. It's not intentional, but to let go of one for another. This is a three-party situation, potentially. And that doesn't mean that somebody's cheating on you. It just means that you could have three parties, you and two other people, two options. <clears throat> Show me the page of cups and the uh, um, magician. Show me the page of cups and the magician for Leo single. Page of Cups and the Magician for Leo Singles, please. Page of Cups and the Magician. Well, <clears throat> so Page of Cups coming out in reverse. So, and Death at the bottom of the deck. If you guys have two options, you're going to be choosing the best one for you. It's going to feel right. It's going to feel exalted in a lot of ways. And you're going to be very, very happy. Um, I'm not seeing this page of cups in reverse as a negative thing or not getting a response or not getting, you know, clarity or an apology. That's not what I'm feeling. I'm feeling you're giving to one and not the other. We have a balance here. This is all about balancing with between one and the other. It's just moving forward. Show me the two of swords here for Leo. Yeah, you're going to leave somebody behind. But what happens when you leave them behind is that you end up moving towards what you actually want. I really like this energy. I, <clears throat> I know that not everybody has two people to choose from. But for whoever this reading is for, I feel like you might. You know, I feel like you might. This could also be a choice where you are not even with another person, but you're releasing this type of energy, this heartache, this, you know, stagnancy, and you're going towards somebody new. You're going towards the potential of somebody new. Um, but that also does talk about dealing, needing to deal with the Page of Cups in reverse, needing to deal with your emotions, needing to deal with depressive states that you might be in. Leo. So <clears throat> that's also another potential there. But either way with the two of swords, it's if you have two people that you're you have as potentials, you're cutting one out because it doesn't it doesn't cut the mustard. It doesn't it's not enough for you and you may lose contact with that person. But what you do gain is huge positivity here. Show me the two of cups for Leo. 
<clears throat> so for the two of cups, you have the six of cups and you have the page of wands. And again, you have the <laughs> chariot at the bottom of the deck. So with the two of cups and the six of cups, we all know this can talk about people from our past coming back in. It can talk about unresolved issues with people from the past. It can also talk about going back to somebody from our past that there was a very deep and involved connection with, um, a very loving soulmate type energy that you might want to rekindle. The Six of Cups talks about potential resurrections. It can talk about reconciliations to a degree. <clears throat> you have Temperance here. You've got the Six of Cups. You also do have the Page of Cups. So there is some potential with that. I don't want to say that that is it, but there is some potential for you to experience reconnections with people from the past that maybe aren't so bad you know um not every not everybody from our past is the devil <laughs> so you know with the page of wands here too it indicates a completely new direction in love it indicates something completely different than what you're used to and i feel that you are going to be very satisfied in that once that takes shape again some of you may have two people to choose from you will choose right um, some of you are dealing with um, the potential of somebody from your past coming back. If you are dealing with that, again, you're going to need to have some self-restraint when it comes to how you emotionally um, are equipped to deal with people. If you find yourself sinking back into emotional pits of despair, get out of there as much as, as quick as possible. I'm not talking about get out away from the person, but if you find that going back into yourself leads you to emotional disruption with the page of cups in reverse depression things of that nature it's time to balance out your energy because that's not going to fly in a relationship moving forward let me advice for this we have singles reading <clears throat> coming together man with a fucking lot of love that is basically the, the Knight of Cups right there. There's a lot of potential here. There's a lot of happiness to be gained here. <clears throat> Whether you have two potential people or just one or the potential for going back to somebody from the past that feels good, that feels right, that doesn't hurt you or you're all agonized about it. There's a lot of positivity and a whole lot of love happening here. Um, also, I'm picking up two... <clears throat> Some of you, this is same-sex relationship stuff as well. Um, I mean, either way, any of the readings could be re involving that. But there's a highlighted energy here. Okay, there's a highlighted energy for same-sex relationships as well. So I'm going to leave it here. I hope that this reading was helpful. If you found it helpful, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And if you choose to donate, there's a link in my description box uh, below to donate at. And... I will see you guys later. Thank you so much, Leo. I hope you guys are doing well. And chin up, babe. It's going to be okay. All right. Take care. Bye.